Welcome and thanks for your time. My name is Nick Tate and I'm one of the conveners of the ACS Constitutional Reform Working Group that has been established by Congress. The ACS is currently discussing the important matter of a 21st century constitution. Together with my co-convener, Roger Clark, we'll be presenting a brief background to the process with the intention of motivating members to provide input and feedback. When an organisation incorporates, it's required to have some kind of constitutional document. Associations generally have rules of incorporation. The ACS was incorporated as an association in 1966 and has a set of rules. On the other hand, a company has a constitution. The constitutional document complements uh, relevant existing laws and establishes the key rules which determines how the organisation is run. The ACS began as a federation of small associations in the states and territories. It's grown significantly and now operates at considerable scale and it has a turnover that is much greater than the upper threshold that states and territories generally want to administer as an association. There are a few ways to incorporate nationally for an organization which has outgrown being a state-based association and the norm is to use a type of company which is limited by guarantee rather than by shares and which is designed for not-for-profit organizations. Congress has asked the Constitutional Reform Working Group to conduct consultations with members and recommend a constitution. A professional society has professional members at its core. And at law, the constitution is a contract between the members and the society. A contract has to be negotiated and not imposed. So the first step is to get members' views. The various views need to be balanced and checked against the constraints that the law places on what the contract can say. And so I'll now hand you over to my co-convener, Roger Clark, who will dis discuss the process of consultation. So thanks, Nick. Now, what Nick's done is to set up the framework, uh, give us the background, um, and I'm now going to talk through what that consultation process is actually looking like. So what Congress uh, tasked the um, working group to do was to hold three discussion phases, and on the basis of that to recommend a constitution to Congress. Um, we're to do this steadily because hurrying it is not going to solve the problems. And we have to reflect the fact that there are multiple projects going on at the moment uh, with a very lively society um, and we need to interweave um, and cross-feed uh, with those other projects. Having a look at the project as a whole, um, we start out with a round talking about principles getting the framework right so that all of the participants have got a shared understanding of, uh, of what we're trying to get at in the first round. Once we've done that, we'll move on to features of the Constitution, uh, getting down to a bit more detail. And then finally, um, and only finally towards the end, will we start nattering on about the actual phrasing within specific clauses in the Constitution. Uh, all of that will be uh, reviewed and con um, quality assured uh, by Congress and the Management Committee. And then it will go to the members through the normal process, which is a three months on the table requirement, followed by a general meeting to make the decision. Now, what we're focused on here, of course, is the first round of consultation. Um, it commenced on the 30th, 30th of September. Uh, it's got to be done carefully, as we said, so we anticipate it will take us through to the Christmas period. And then the second round on features will commence in the um, uh, in early on in the first quarter of next year. Uh, whether we'll be able to complete the whole project in the um, through the second quarter and and actually perform the conversion of the organisation uh, by uh, at the end of uh, 2022, uh, we're not yet sure. Uh, we won't rush it. Uh, we've been told to get it right, and that's what we intend to do. Now. There's one thing that we might want to get a little bit of clarity about here because it may not be totally obvious to everybody what we have in mind. 
the third phase that we talked about later on next year is about clauses. So let's take a simple example, one that we don't particularly deal with uh, very much in the, in the current uh, consultation document. But it's a simple one of how many directors should there be? We've got to have a decision because that's a clause that we have to have in the Constitution. That is third phase stuff. Uh, then, we, then we talk about uh, the details. But prior to that, we need to have asked ourselves some questions about what are our detailed requirements. As we move from, from um, analysis phase into design phase, uh, we have to have clarity. Now, one possible way we might go about this um, in that second phase consultation document is to ask the question. Um, companies have varying numbers of directors of these orders of magnitude. Um, do you think it's clear how many, how many directors we should have or can we flip a coin? What comments would you like to make about this? So that's phase two. That is more detailed than what we're looking for at the moment. Because what we're looking for at the moment is the principles that should lead us into what are the right questions to ask. And what are the right options that uh, we should be discussing? So as an example, and it's purely an example, um, there might be a proposition that there should be enough directors, but not too many directors. Enough directors because of questions of expertise um, and um, other such things as retaining corporate memory with gradual turnover amongst directors. Um, but we also need to avoid having too many diggers with spades standing around the same hole. So those are the sorts of things we want to talk about. Now, look, you may well not agree with that principle as being the appropriate way to go, and that's exactly what this consultation process is meant to be about. Uh, please tell us what it is that you think isn't right about things that are in the draft, and tell us what things you think should be right, and indeed tell us what things we've left out of the draft entirely that have to do with principles. The way in which we've gone about this is uh, to engage with the membership as a whole by firstly launching, and the Anchor article appeared on the 30th, um, uh, 30th of September, the President's email was distributed on the 30th of September, and that provides access to a landing page, which in turn provides access to the document set. I'll talk about the document set in a moment. The conduct of the phase of the consultation process will be that events are being set up at national level and at branch levels um, and we will be looking for submissions and we have an online forum available for electronic discussions. There will then be a stage um, in which we will sit back and analyse what we've got and we'll report back to the members. How members can contribute is through the following ways. Um, clearly, the site that has the provides the starting point for everybody is the consultation site at CRWG, um, Constitution Reform Working Group, um, subsite at the ACS uh, page. Um, the consultation document set that we talked about that's um, a consultation document of nine pages, which is um, which quite solidly goes through the things that we have seen as being the important questions for discussion at this stage. Um, so uh, what is the uh, society about? Um, what sorts of things should it be involved in doing? Those key questions um, are drawn out and discussed in nine pages, but to make it more accessible, we've got a summary of one page and we've got a set of key questions, 14 of them, which may attract people's attention. Um, uh, those questions aren't narrowing down, they're not all that can be talked about, they're the things that, uh, that struck us as being particularly important. Uh, there are opportunities to participate in events of various kinds, some face-to-face, -face, uh, some video conference of course, particularly in the current circumstances uh, with COVID, um, and uh, there is the online forum. That's the address of the online forum. Um, we will be watching what goes on in the online forum and extracting the relevant bits of content. And of course, we have a submission channel for your more considered thoughts where you put your, put your ideas together, whether they're individual ones or, or group submissions, we'll, we'll be very happy either way. And as I've stressed before, this first round is about principles, not about the nitty gritty fine detail. The time frame that we're talking about here is uh, that we have uh, the month of October essentially uh, to uh, get our interactions going um, and to produce the content whereby the working group can um, move on, extract uh, the messages and prepare the um, consultation documents for the second round early next year. Uh, we'll do that during the course of November and we'll be reporting back to members before the mad Christmas rush. 
So we thank you very much uh, for your attention to this. We thank you even more for all the input that you're going to provide and the feedback you're going to provide on what we've put forward. Thank you very much.